Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Hey there, welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I am super excited today to be scrutinizing another Lindy Hop video. Today we're gonna to be looking at a performance uh, by Ziggy's or Siggy's Lindy Hoppers and the Reich Javik ba Big Band. That's a really hard word for me to say as an American, but they're gonna be performing to Bugle Call Rag. It's been a long day for me. I'm a bit tired and sweaty, just finished running and working in the yard a little bit. We just had some people put together our garden, trying to get ready for the summertime ahead of time. So now it's time for me to debrief and get into this video. And here we go. All right, we are nice and live. This looks like it's in front of an audience who doesn't know anything about swing dancing. Let's see what happens. Maybe they know a thing or two, but there's no dancing. Yes! Yes, the swing out, folks. All right, soloist, here we go. I like that stop, that's classic. Audience likes that one. I don't know what it is. They love aerials. And I'm usually like, dude, do you know how hard it is to do a swing out? Like to figure it out? They don't seem to care about swing outs, I guess. Nice sequence. That was good. Yes. Okay, they're clapping more. Ah, oh, they went there. This is like my favorite part of the song. Yes! Successful! Do you see that chicken skin? <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm still suffering from, like, the partial flu cold. Great job, Siggy's Lindy Hoppers. That was awesome. I'm going to tell you something, guys. Lindy Hop is too small as I pour myself a nice bubbly in a wine glass. It's too small. Lindy Hop is too small. We've done an okay job at spreading it to people out there who are the new generation. But I tell you what, when you think about hip-hop... 30 years of time, and it's massive. You think about salsa, all the years that salsa's been gone, massive. 
You think about Lindy Hop, people are like, what's that? And that hurts. That hurts. So I can't wait for more groups of dancers to do performances like this. To people in the wild. It's super important. Simply because in America, particularly, people just, they forget things. And I think, I don't want to just isolate it to America, but I know we are notorious for it. We like, we are the people of the now. Anything that's new, we're interested in. And if the song is two weeks old, we're not even thinking about it, right? So I'm super excited that this group did this. I don't know what the occasion was. It looks like it's in Harpa Concert Hall and Conference Center. I'm not sure if it was like a fundraiser or just a demonstration of Lindy Hop out to the public because we need more of that. Think about just having 1 million Lindy Hoppers in the world, what that will do. I'm not talking about 1 million people getting a part of the swing community because not everybody in what we call swing community loves swing dancing. Did you know that? We have a lot of fans. It's like sports fans, right? Got a lot of fans in the stands. Got a lot of people that wear jerseys. We got a lot of activists. We got a lot of people out there rah rahing about different things. But when it comes to actually dancing and respecting the art form, very few, very few. And we have to do a better job. Well, you know what? All good things die. And that's unfortunate. But I'm super proud of this group. I'm super, super proud of them. If I could only just do performances for people out there and see if I could make my Lindy Hop flashy enough for people in the wild, that would make me happy. That would make me super happy. Because I would love to see another person like me, who was a professional dancer, get into Lindy Hop with the same intensity and respect that they have for their other crafts to get into Lindy Hop and work that hard and contribute constructively to the art form, I can't wait to see the day. I want to be super impressed, and right now I am not. And I'm telling you that. That's the truth. The truth is painful, and very few people are bold enough to actually say it. And I would encourage you to start speaking the truth more because it will sting a little bit, but it will encourage you to do something about it. All right? So that's my rant. Finished. I'm super excited to see what this group is doing. Somebody let me know where they're from, where this is from. I don't really recognize the language. I don't want to mistake it for something else that I don't think it is, but it looks like uh, in s Europe somewhere. So, so I am super excited to know more about this. Great job, performers. I wish they had the name of the performers. Yes, Ziggy's Yana Haken uh, Irikur Solveig. Please forgive me for mispronouncing your names. But great job, guys, for just getting out there and showing the world this fascinating thing that is so close in our little bubble. And I just wish that bubble would break and become so big that we actually have television shows that say they do Lindy Hop and all of us Lindy Hoppers would just hate it. We would be like, um, we would be like really upset. It's too mainstream. It's too mainstream. We would do like that, you know. But I tell you guys, great job. Super proud of them. If you guys want to learn how to Lindy Hop, you've never Lindy Hopped before. You saw a performance like that. And you're like, dude, where do I... Where do I start? Sign me up. That was me. I saw a jam circle and I was just blown away. Sign me up. And people were like, well, you just go around this community and you take workshops and you do these different things. I was like, what? There's no university? There's, this isn't professional? Like, how does this work? And that was just how it worked. But if you are at your home and you don't know anything about that, like that whole organism, uh, there's just a small little community when you think about 7 billion people. I want to encourage you, take some of my classes below. I got over 25 classes just to kind of help you realize what you're a part of. This is a massive dance that has a huge legacy all the way back to Harlem in America. It's a crazy, crazy story. So take some of those free courses. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. Some of them are more difficult than others. Um, a lot of creative movements that will keep you inspired. If you were like me and you just want to know, how does this thing work? Get out of my way. I don't need to have to take all these classes and have all these people telling me different opinions about it. Just show me what's objective and show me what's subjective. And I can kind of figure out my roadmap and fix myself. I got the perfect plan for you. Check out my fundamentals membership below. It will give you a step-by-step -step process on how to fix yourself as you go through this maturation process. Because I did not have that. And I spent over 10,000 hours trying to figure out how to make this thing simple for more people who come into this dance that are professional like me. So with that said, guys, 
What did you think about Bugle Call Rag uh, performance? This was awesome. I even loved how the band did the Benny Goodman version. Oh, I love that. That ending, that's when the skin started to rise. I just woo, love it, love it, love it, love it. So let me know what you thought about this group in the comments section. Again, congratulations to these dancers for just representing Wendy Hop the right way, showing people the very first time what it's supposed to look like, right? Not a version of it, but just, just getting out there and showing people Lindy Hop. That's huge. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyways, if I don't see you guys in class uh, here at my home studio online, I will see you uh, in the next reaction video. Have a great day.